I have like a good five minutes before my girlfriend gets to my house and I want to post on YouTube more but vlogging is embarrassing in front of other people right now and there's a lot that I need to cover because I, okay, first of all, I'm always like, I'm gonna be better, I'm gonna post on here more, blah, 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 blah. And then you wanna know what I don't do? That. I'm trying to get back on the horse here, okay? So, first things first, I put out an EP like three months ago now, and I like did not promote it, but it's out. It's called Left Me For Dead. Do I like it anymore? Not really, but I, probably shouldn't be saying that I should probably be like no it's really good go listen to it it is really good actually well mm, this is not a good setup for myself it's a good EP I just have this complex where I always think I can do better so I'm over that now I also left me for dead is a very odd time capsule because there's a version of myself that exists in those songs that makes me cringe a little bit I just think I've outgrown her but like she also deserves her space she deserves to take up space and you know she was dramatic and like trying to get a fucking grip and you know I think making that record really helped me to get a grip and then I put it out and I was like all right bitch I got a grip like fucking chill out if you're in your like unhinged go crazy like figuring your shit out let me for that is for you that's who that that's who that ep is for but i did fucking slack off didn't promote it like i sh there's a lot that i should have done for it but i'm also trying to be nicer to myself and not beat myself up as much because that's an issue that i have and where does that get me literally nowhere i just look back i learned a lot from that process and I am making good on trying to start my life back up after like fucking off for the past month because I graduated college woo which is a completely different crisis that I've had because oh my gosh there's so many different things happening I put an EP out that happened I did a shit job promoting it but it's out and I'm promoting it now so there's that I graduated college very cool but I had this impending like crisis uh, knowing it was my last semester started in January I was like this is my last semester like post-grad is freaking me out like what am I gonna do because I didn't have any plans to go get a master's I don't have any active plans to get a master's I think I would like to at some point but not in the cards for me right now which is fine I graduated debt-free awesome love that because I worked my fucking ass off, but I worked my fucking ass off and I was really, really fucking burnt out. And I, by the end of my last semester, I'd worked a lot and it kind of, um, like between that and all of my classes, I was taking seven classes at the same time. I was really burnt out. I think I said that. It didn't like, okay, what I'm getting at here is that it didn't necessarily like sour that, but it only added to that impending kind of crisis of what do I do? I just graduated college because I also moved out of my apartment down in Glassboro, which also means that the milk crate is no more, which is sad, but it was really cool. We had a really good run and I still need to post the pictures from that last show. That is a thing I need to do. I'm gonna do that tonight. But yeah, I think what's just been the weirdest is I made the decision to not go get a corporate job at like a record label. My, I majored in music industry with a focus in music business and I chose that route because it, the options were music business or music tech and I self-taught in guitar or piano um, most of the things I know with production I'm self-taught kind of but I took elective courses also in production um, during my college career so I'm not entirely self-taught but I I chose the business side because anything that I didn't know as far as tech went I knew I could teach myself so I took the business side to understand the back end of being an artist to 
become better at managing myself until I'm at the point where somebody else should do it for me. But with that kind of track, or even the tech track, there's like certain expectations I think I had put on myself for what I quote unquote should be doing after I graduate. And I'm not doing those things. I'm not looking for a job within that field because my job is being an artist and being a singer songwriter and coordinating tours and stuff like that for myself. And I'm keeping my serving job to sustain that. Although right now I'm working a production job producing someone's EP right now and that's been really, really cool and very, very fulfilling and it restored a lot of confidence that I lost in myself. Um, but that's another thing the EP kind of did is it gave me a nice foundation to stand upon and be like, no, this is something I can do and this is something I'm capable of. I have crazy imposter syndrome and like self-esteem problems which might not be the cutest thing to admit on the internet, but I'm a fucking human being, so. And my girlfriend is turning the curb. Yeah, I graduated college. I'm an artist. I'm living with my dad right now, which is going a lot better than I anticipated. I'm also very grateful that he let me move back in with him because I've literally fucked off for the past month, but it's been a very much needed fucking off. Um, I'm gonna go inside and edit this, and uh, I will talk to you very soon. And I'm gonna like post on here. I fucking swear to God I'm going to. I swear, I swear. If I don't post again in like a week, this is just fucking embarrassing. I also swear a lot. I should probably stop doing that.